today, Robo Debt Royal Commission coming. Hello again, it's Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. One of the latest posts covering finance and property news with a distinctively Australian flavour. Well, the Prime Minister has just officially called a Royal Commission into the controversial robo-debt scheme, according to AAP. Mr Albanese on Thursday revealed the terms of reference and the Commissioner who would oversee the inquiry. The automated matching of tax and Centrelink data to raise debts against welfare recipients was initiated in 2015, demanding money the coalition government claimed to have been overpaid. The scheme was ruled unlawful in 2019. The Morrison government has never detailed who was accountable for the scheme and which ministers knew of its problems. The Royal Commission will examine the establishment of the scheme, who was responsible for it and why it was necessary how concerns were handled, how the scheme affected individuals and the financial costs to government and measures to prevent this ever happening again, Albanese said. A Royal Commission to RoboDebt was a major election commitment by the Albanese government, which he expects to expend $30 million on. The Commissioner will be a former Queensland Supreme Court Chief Justice Catherine Holmes, with a final report to be delivered to the Governor-General by April the 18th, 2023. Mr Albanese said key lessons needed to be learned following the controversial scheme. It's vital so that we get to the bottom of how RoboDebt came about so that we can ensure that it can never happen again, he told reporters in Sydney on Thursday. We know that almost 400,000 Australians fell victim to this cruel system a human tragedy with veil real consequences for its victims. The Royal Commission will look at the establishment, design and implementation of the scheme, who was responsible for it, and why they considered robo-debt necessary and any concerns raised regarding the legality and fairness. As well, it will examine the handling of concerns raised about the scheme, including adverse decisions made by the Administrative Appeals Tribunal. And the terms of reference will cover the outcomes of the scheme, including the harm to vulnerable individuals and the total financial cost to government, as well as measures needed to prevent similar failures. Mr Albanese dismissed criticism the Commission would be an opportunity to attack the former government, saying there was a human cost to the scheme. People lost their lives. Every single one of my local constituents and every member of Parliament can tell stories like this, he said. Those people who were the most vulnerable were the least likely to go to their local member to have the confidence to do that. And that's why we need to get to the heart of why this occurred. RoboDebt was set up in 2015 by the former coalition government and continued until November 2019 after a class action lawsuit led to the scheme being labelled as unlawful. The former government at the time raised more than $1.7 billion from more than 400,000 people. The scheme was found to have wrongly recovered more than $750 million from 381,000 people. Government Services Minister Bill Shorten said that while the class action lawsuit delivered justice for victims, more was needed to be done. This Royal Commission has to fill a gap, he said. We still don't know who conceived of this, the Federal Court judge Justice Murphy said that the senior public servants and the responsible ministers should have known, but did not know. And that's the point, really. This was an ideological battle, which I think does need to be aired in public. Now, of course, whether the Royal Commission will be any more successful than the Financial Services Royal Commission is an open question. I have to say that last time around, that didn't really lead to much transformation in the industry. But this is a big deal. And it's a really important inquiry into what happened, why it happened, and why so many people were adversely impacted. I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Many thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.